Hello and welcome to Currency Point, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for FP Markets. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any form of personal advice. FP Markets does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any form of advice at all. It is just general in nature only. What if we're wrong? It is the question I think we need to really ask ourselves right now because FF markets, and not just FX, across the board, are on this belief that everything is going to be over basically sooner rather than later, that the inflation genie is going to get put back in the bottle very, very quickly, that the rate hiking cycle is going to slow and sometime in 2023 will end. That, in my view, is a really dangerous perspective because if you listen to what's going on, that's not necessarily, in fact, it isn't the case at all. And I want to highlight the RBNZ. What happened last week with Adrian Orr was absolutely paramount to understanding that this has got a long way to go. And his view very clearly is that the New Zealand economy is going to contract every single quarter next year, that rates in the, over in New Zealand are going to get to 5.5%, and that all of this is going to put an incredible amount of pressure on the economy. And that's a fair call. And I think this idea that slowing is going to be a difference and therefore you can start looking towards risk is a movement that I think is a bit too far. If you listen to what's going on from the Reserve Bank, they are telling you that. They are worried that the wealth effect is creating an issue, that financial conditions are strengthening again, and it goes against what they're trying to do. And that therefore means that rates could get higher still in the US, much further above than what the market is forecasting. And that's why if you see what's gone on last week, dollar franc and also the yen have seen flows back into it and there's been a real pause in euro in the aussie and even in the kiwi despite that massive rise that we saw a record for them 0.75 of one percent increase in the cash rate because again the market i think may have got ahead of itself and that's what i'm now watching very closely because fx is telling you that they may have just finally looked for some better news than than what's already there and again next year there is signs once more that risk off is probably likely to be the way to be in the first half of 2023, because I think, I think we may have got ahead of ourselves.